Hello everyone, it's Niven, and today I am making CopperCube 6 tutorial video. CopperCube 6 is a game engine which is available for free. Link is in the description, you can download it and follow along. Today I will be talking about scenes, how to change scenes in the game, and how to set up different scenes during the game. Now I talked about scenes briefly in my third person setup tutorial, but today I will be giving you some specifics and let's just start. As you know, I am mentioning this every time, we have five windows. We have Scene Graph Explorer, Properties, Prefabs, Textures and the main window, this one. Also we have our Create panel and right here we have Polygon Editing, which I haven't gone through. Uh, we have light mapping, scenes, and publish. Let's go to scenes. Now, as you can see, we have a new 3D scene, uh, which you can see in the Scene Graph Explorer. It has Cube Mesh and Startup Skybox. What we can do is change the name of the scene. For example, we can go to settings and name this Scene Menu. Click OK. Now we can either delete the scene or add the scene. To add the scene, we press plus and we name our scene. Let's name it scene one. We press OK and it made a new scene with new sets of behaviors and of course, new set of materials. Now, if you want to switch between the scenes, we go right here and we go back to scene menu. Now, how to change between the scenes during the game? For example, if we go to publish, this is the playtest button. We press playtest and we have one scene, only one scene. It doesn't change. Now, how can we change this? We have different behaviors which allow us to change between two scenes or many scenes. Let's begin. First of all, we click plus, click on behavior triggered by events, when a key is pressed, do something or scripted behaviors. As I said, those are the behaviors which are downloaded and I will be going over. Behaviors triggered by events, now we need this, every few seconds do something, this doesn't work because when someone starts the game and for example it's a menu and you want to change the scene, uh, when the game starts, I've talked about this, when the game starts, when the application starts, you cannot have something, for example, like this behavior based on timing. Because some people take time to go through menu, some people take time to go through the, you know, main scene. So, timing behaviors does not necessarily work unless you know exactly the minutes and exactly seconds of uh, how much time would a player do something. For example, click OK, click play and something like that. So using every few seconds doesn't work. We use when a key is pressed do something. And now let's press, for example, um, let's press enter. So when key is pressed down, we should set action and right here we have plus action and it says cameras and scenes. It says change active camera, which we don't need. It says set camera target, which we also don't need. And it says switch to another scene. Click on that, go to scene, and we have two scenes. We have scene one, scene two, we have scene menu. Right? We should click scene one, I forgot. Let's click OK. Now if we press play, and now if I click enter, it changed the scene. Now, let me add some things in my scene, so this would seem more obvious. Let's add a house. Let's create a uh, terrain. Hold on, where is the house? Where did the house go? It's right here, right here. And let's create an armchair. We create also camera. Don't forget to create camera every time. And if we click on press play, we have this uh, scene, but we go back to the menu scene, we also create a camera right here, and we press publish. Now I press enter, and we have 
a scene changing behavior. So that's basically it. It was a pretty short tutorial. There's not much to go with scenes except we have uh, scene metrics. Uh, this is uh, the information, for example, the estimated amount of memory the scene needs. And this actually uh, matters if you want to create a smaller game, if you have big, big things in the game and if you want to make them small. The scene metrics give you information about uh, how many things you have in the game and so on. You have settings for the game, well that's basically just changing the name. Uh, you have uh, scene post effects which are available with uh, the paid version and not the, the, free, the free, free version. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. If you want to change from one scene to another scene, uh, that's what you do. You create new scenes. You can add new scene, like add, you know, new scenes. No matter how many you add, you will still have all those scenes right here and you can change between those scenes the way I showed you. Either you create a clickable button or you create something which, you know, for example, is a menu. Thanks everyone for watching. If you have any questions, please be sure to write down in the comments and feel free to ask any questions. Uh, once again, I say this at the end of every episode, every tutorial. Uh, everything depends on what your preference is and all this is just basic knowledge. Uh, what matters is your craft, your research and the work that you put in to create games and use the engine. That's all that matters. Thanks once again for watching. Have an amazing day.